You know those people who tell you, you tell them about your dream and then they say to you, it's never going to happen. Who do you think you are? Well, how about this one? You think you're better than us? I've got a name for those people. I call them the dream killers. It is possible. Doesn't matter how long things have been going bad. The time to turn that around is yesterday. Who is influencing you? And how? Someone could be influencing you and it's going. You don't want people like that in your life. And the next question is who are you influencing? And how? I've got a gift. There are quite a few. channel it is your girl at Nike. so if you are new here i hope you subscribe if you are my returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back guys today it's uh tuesday né? today is tuesday and the free human rights day so i'm about to have an interview in german and mona guys i am ready i am ready guys i took a long break it was worth it and you know what guys i've realized that you know what sometimes it is good uh to disappear sometimes and then come back yeah, well, so i am back i am fresh i am i'm ready like i am no longer tired yo guys i was tired to tell the truth i was like you know what let's drop everything my casement between the interviews in the episode because i don't know man i don't know whether in Timokanya, but i felt so drained so I, I felt tired man i was tired i don't know guys nobody you guys relate now but yo i was tired man, because i saw that i was just pushing myself you know i was pushing myself and I, it, it it was no longer serving my soul i don't know why i don't know I, and yes guys but i explain it but guys i disappeared so now i am back guys i am i am right i am relevant hi modelings are you guys okay oh <sighs> guys i'm so excited i'm excited to be back because the episode because it's something that i love i don't know for me if vlog if vlogs i love vlogs because i'm documenting my life from where i am um i want to to reflect back man like plan be in the next two years because where i am is not where i want to be in the next two years in the next next year so i just want to reflect about okay oh wow you've been here okay god has been good you know so i love vlogs but in episodes guys i i, I take them Diba professional, you know, I did makeup. I I wake up, I did makeup, or I did a setup. Like it's it's more of a profession. It's more of like the professional. So yeah, guys, I, I feel like I take it as a job. Ne, <laughs> I take it as a job. I don't know, but get an unpaying job. Hopefully, one day it's gonna be a paying job. So yeah, my darlings, I am back with the episode. Uh, please, guys, I know my darlings. I know you guys. Please go and give it love. Give it love. And actually, I've added any portion whereby I'll call people. Sending Bonile Om Opasta Koli Wakasefani. She was here telling her story. And what she went through, it was not in vain. God, I feel like God, perfect God was there even though she went through the process she went through the process and today she is a testimony you know and i believe that there are some people who are going through the most who are going through what she went through but they have no hope but 
the moment umdabona love it or like they all know that God is there, you know. They will know that God is going to be faithful or God is faithful. Like Ufu Sarela Itemba, she is a pastor. Unebanda El Kuhu, look guys. So you yeah, guys, hi my darlings. How are you guys? How are you guys? <laughs> See, right as a fresh man does. I'm so excited. I'm so fresh. Yeah, but this is the energy that I want, guys. Consequence episode. This is my energy. This is definitely my energy. That time, my energy was so low, was on zero percent. That's when I was like, you know what? Uh uh. It's not like like people that I invited or they they have something to do with it. It was just me. I was tired. Come I was tired and I was like, I want to tell you guys because Kaloku, I told you before I even started as an episode that you know what guys? Hi, we have episodes coming in our channel. So I wanted to tell you guys that you know what guys, I'm tired. Yeah, well, but as sometimes I was like, I don't want my darlings to motivate me. You know, I was I know I know you guys. You guys, I know you. You were going to be like, no, Atini, um, maybe take a week, uh, maybe take a, of which I didn't know that, no, but I'm be, like during the week, I was going to be ready to do it again. So I was like, no, let me just not tell my darling Zabakalela when I'm back. So guys, we are back on episodes and I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. And guys, in this episode, they motivate me, guys, a lot, especially on the editing process of like, oh my gosh. Oh my G. Let's get ready. See, it's good to be back. I'm so heavy. I'm so excited. Man, I need a wave, okay, guys, and then I'll I will see you, my darling. I'm just opening up a vlog. This is me saying hi. Welcome to the new vloggy vlog. <laughs> hey guys, on the same play. Hi bo come man. Whoa. And the same play. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm saying that I'm the same thing. today it's saturday um i'm doing nothing and it's, it's funny like why am i doing nothing on saturday <clears throat> there's something that has been ringing into my mind ever since 2019 yeah no not 20 yes ever since 2019 um pa bo june so and 2020 and 20 um 2020 and 2022 and 2023 you know so even last year when i i, I opened my youtube channel i wanted to talk about this but i was like uh, uh I, I don't know but i feel like you see man there's this edge that says that talk about this you know but today especially today guys i was like you know what i don't care guys i'm not i'm not gonna dwell on this it's just it's just a message because i might never know that there's someone who's going through this nah. but guys what, what what i can say my darlings is that um even if you have a sister you have um you have a, a, a child you have um especially if females you know, guys you don't have to sleep for a job you don't you, you you don't have to you you don't have to sleep for a job offer never ever sleep for a job offer if you haven't done that please do not do it but if you have then i i don't know okay guys but for me i believe that if it's something from god it's not gonna be something like that because it's not gonna be in the corner. Yeah, boy. The fact that he tetela is gone in the tetela mazansi, tetela pansi, fnegens lebu miyamin. It's something. It's 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 not from God, you guys. 
uh, when the time is right the Lord will definitely make it happen because you might sleep with a guy because you you want a job or with certain manager because you want a job and then internship whatsoever. What about you when I saw And if you proof, where's the proof that he slept with you because when you wanted a job? And it's I feel like it's also an embarrassing embarrassment because Puma like he wanted a job. You wanted a job and then he slept with you. <clears throat> guys, all I can say guys it's bad never sleep for a job never sleep for an offer never sleep for a gig you must never sleep for those things guys especially when there's a, you must never sleep for isn't or like if you want something pray for it and wait on god we pray for things and we wait on God because we know that God is a provider. God is our provider. The obvious God will, will make things happen for us. We don't have to sleep for things. Like we don't have to sleep for things. Imagine guys like you are us. <laughs> Imagine guys. Guys, we must never ever sleep for things like that. Nagim na. I am I am I am unemployed. Not not like I'm unemployed. I am working in a space whereby like is it's it's a very small salary. And then um it's I own the one the fund lay lay and spends a cool yeah. Um so many guys are like guys maguyekwe and actually we must we must especially for us who are still looking for something permanent for something yeah well, especially for us ne, we must pray for a spirit of discernment yeah well, if like in you like you must just not even agree to something that you feel like you know what this one and i believe like we like we have we must trust our guts you know, we must trust that feeling that says that no man, don't do this. Don't go to this interview. Do not go there. Don't. Do you trust this person? Mm-mm. Now, think about questions in Jalo, guys. Obviously, there is something, there is something sneaky or something fishy about that. You know, but from now, I, I trust my guts. Yeah, well, I'm big on energy, guys. Please, man, let's, let's not sleep for, 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 for a job. Existing woman, it had an empty within. Yeah, I'm also unemployed. It's not like I am Sandy Gashiwa or something. I'm still looking for a job, I'm still looking for something permanent. Yeah, being for there are a lot of people who never slept for those things, but they they got them. If a woman is not yours, don't force things, especially by sleeping. Yo, especially by Zegizi and yo, Minani. <laughs> You must never, guys, you must never, never, you must never do it. Don't, don't do it, guys. And we find God, not like, being broke sometimes, you kind of like, you want to do things, you have a, so that was of money, as a fast, 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 fast. This is such a sensitive topic, you have a, that's why I, 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 I did not want to talk about it. It's it's a sensitive topic because some people they were slept with people because they wanted they were desperate, you know. And we don't ju I don't judge anyone again like because I know that um, each and every single steps that a person does, you know, silly destroy him, you know, but there is something or there is a reason behind that, you know. So I'm not judging anyone for doing things that they do, they did, but the only thing that I can do is to tell you guys that if you haven't please don't if you have i'm just i'm sorry that
That's what dreams do. That's why they energize us. But if you don't have a dream, it doesn't matter how many people try to help you, you always feel forgotten. That is why it's so important to have a dream. So a few questions that you've got to ask yourself is, is it really my dream? You know, we could live someone else's dream and not realize and we can't understand why we don't want to go to work in the morning. We can't understand why we don't feel any hope for our lives, but actually we're living someone else's dream. So you've got to own your dream. It's got to be your dream. You now sometimes two people's dreams will come together and they will share a vision and they work together for a common dream. The bad news is that the 
journey is not free. It's not really bad news, but it's not going to be a, a go just casually down the road kind of journey. Because at some point you've got to own your dream. You've got to move from being a believer of the dream that's free, and you've got to come over to being a buyer of the dream. I've never heard of something. Would you 
doesn't happen quickly for, uh, for anybody, but the path is not always the same. But if we want to go from where we are today to achieving any level of success, action
anybody who influences someone. If I walk down the street and someone looks at me and sees my, sees my behavior and they hear me speak and they feel me touch them, I'm influencing them. How I behave, what I say, and how I touch. The best time to start is now. So now I want to ask the motive question. Why do you want transformation, both in your life and in the lives of others? Some people do things for reward. They want their name up. Oh, they want people to say, you're so fantastic, you've done these great things. You are our savior. Thank you so much. They want recognition. So they go to do something because someone's going to give them a pat on the back. Maybe there's a reward, financial reward. I'll pay you. Did you notice that it's very, it's a selfish motive. It's all about me. But then you get other people. And they want transformation because they say, I feel responsible. They feel the responsibility to do something about what they see. We have to become a people of action who are outward focused growing people and people who are wise in choosing their influences. People of action, outward focused, growing and wise in choosing their influences. So let's talk a bit now about the process of transformation. is a big advocate of transformation and he has a four phase kind of process. It starts when each of us says, I want to make a difference. The desire is birthed in our hearts. And that moves to phase two, where we say, I want to make that difference with other people who are making the difference. Then it's phase three, when we make this difference with these people, but we live out the values that will make a difference. Because if the values are not positive change, producing positive change, then we're not going to achieve a good result. And then phase four, taking action. All those great ideas we have have to have action. What an informative event, you guys. I am so happy and I'm grateful that I received this book. This one was the gift and the other one, it was just the books that we receive all of us for from the event. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to read this one because it says that uh, the one days of new... Um, new habits that will change the way you live i can't wait to change the way that i live so as you can see that guys it's start today it's the first of april today so i'm gonna start with this page with you my darling i hope you guys are inspired as i am inspired oh my gosh and i will definitely leave all the organizations details down below so that if you need help you need to talk you can just contact them thank you for watching